Hi. Audrey did my makeup. Look how good it is. It's like girly but youthful, fresh, fresh, youthful aesthetic. As youthful as you can look at 34. I'll take it. Um, so if you guys want to see how we got this look by Audrey doing my makeup, just keep watching. Yay. Okay. So let's get into it. Audrey's doing my makeup. This is a first ever and we're filming it, so no pressure. I know I don't ever do You're gonna be great. makeup. You're so. doing great, sweetie. I'm going in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter um, Shade 5. How do you like to apply yours? I apply it just straight out first. And then I just kind of avoid the central area, kind of like around here, because that's where I have my largest pores and I get um, oily. So I feel like if you put glow there, really there too. it's kind of like, you know, emphasizing, emphasizing that. it. So clip these little babies. Yeah, I just need to shave them off. Let them grow, because then you'll just have like. I don't. Let, I don't ever do that. <laughs> yeah. But like, I, there's like the little baby hair under that I do the um little tinkle razor, you know. Yeah. So before this stuff dries, I feel like this just kind of um. It doesn't smooth, but it blends your complexion. I feel like. Yeah, like evens everything out. Yeah. Which I really like. Just it doesn't nice. really give any coverage though. No. Just as well. I just noticed that the olive tree is just sitting on the floor with no pot. It's a, oh. I don't know. I've never had one. I don't think. No pot. Okay, let me turn towards me a little bit. Just make sure where that jaw mm -hmm. is all blended down. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's I'll be interested to see what you think of like certain products on me and if you change anything. I'm just going straight on the skin. I do this and then I'm like, I probably shouldn't do this, but. I do that too, I do a lot. It's just easy. And then I'm using the same brush to just get it everywhere. I usually do my fingers first to move it around. Do you ever do that? I feel like I you warm it up do. and it like melts into the skin and I think you waste less product. Right? But I hate uh, having my hands dirty. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if I'm going to, like my eyebrows, I get so much product in it and I don't know if it's because it's microbladed that they end up looking gray, um, but I always have to wipe product out of my, okay, we're not using left hand, I do not have the, <laughs> the dexterity <laughs> in that hand, I was like why can't I move it, this blends really well with your, um, like whatever skin yeah. tan you have on. It's a good color. It's a good undertone. I'm really hard to match. I also am like a very slow makeup person. Like I won't, I'd rather not do my makeup period. Like with your eyes. Than not have the time rush. to like, yeah. Oh, because I it's hate like, rushing. It's, it's the an worst. enjoyment. I just want to relax. It's like a self care like moment. Look. Yeah. And I agree. Okay. I like music. I'm really into that new Jack Harlow song. <laughs> Nail tech. <laughs> I'm glad that he's having his moment because he blew up recently. Yeah, he's really good. Rigo always finds artists. And like that's what he did with um Post Malone. Really? And, like Rigo played the songs like long before they ended up like blowing up and then all of a sudden I'll hear it on the radio and I'm like, that's a dude that you really like. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He loves He's a music. forecaster. He loves music so much. He's he needs like, to be a DJ an and off this playlist. He's the one that made the wedding playlist. Oh really? It was a good yeah, playlist. It was a good playlist. We had like the little romantic playlist and then we had the party playlist. Party time. Not okay, now oh, go in with this thing. I didn't realize this was here, sorry. Yeah. Is that damp? Mm-hmm. Like barely. Is this gonna do anything? Because I have most your stuff on and like smoothed out completely that's really a really like, bomb brush yeah i bought one from sephora like that somebody recommended and it i think it may be user error like i, I think i'm not um a different brush yeah and it was so dense and then finally i just started using the hourglass one 
And Our last one really is like, like it. it's like it the perfect very mix. dense, but it's a nice amount because it's really like flexy too. Like yeah. it, I don't know. Okay, so hourglass in fawn. Yay. I might try an even lighter shade of this one soon. Because you know, a bitch loves a bright under eye. It's like there are some things that are more trends, like one way or another. And then there's things that you try and you just like it on your face and so you continue yeah. to do it even if it's not. Like, I will never have skinny eyebrows. Like, obviously, thick eyebrows are in. But if there's ever a time when they're not, like, they will still be featured on my face. Yeah. The left side, which unfortunately is, like, the side that the camera will see the whole time, I feel like I cannot get to it. This side. What? You need to turn more? Okay, can you close real quick? It's funny because I'm not used to having my makeup done. So whenever I do other people's makeup, I'm like, I'm not going to poke you. Like, relax your eye. But it really is hard to not, like, move it around so much. Just out of instinct, you know? Yeah. Can't believe how cold it is today. I know. Texas weather is a little crazy. Yeah. Okay. And then I always just take it around my nose a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then I was saying earlier that I have, like, um, I always thought it was a mustache, which, like, yeah, I do have a mustache, but I shave it, and that, Same. like, discoloration is still there. So, it must not be a mustache. Like a little melasma or something? Maybe, maybe. but it's considered because they said it wasn't melasma, so. Mine is just a legit mustache. But I shave it. I shave it today for you. That looks I good. Like it. I like it. It okay. looks great. Okay, so I'm going to go in with shade 5.5. Um, Are we allowed to say this? No shit. I'm going to go in with the shade that we have not announced yet. But I wear the shade every day. It's my favorite. And your favorite is another shade that we have yeah. not announced yet. Yeah. And I just, like, for me, I do that, and then I bang it on a paper towel. Sure, it's great for the brush, but whatever. <laughs> I just do that so that you can see it gets like a little bit excess. And since I'm not super like crazy great with precision, that makes it easier for me to just put it like exactly where I want it. And you do this for the blush too. You don't prefer to just draw it on. Mm -hmm. Creams are so key, like the older I get. You know what I was thinking? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously I'm 34, but I'll be 35 in October, which thank goodness October is still a while away. However, we have to do something really fun because that's kind of an iconic birthday. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a big one. I'm just going to get a little excess down here. Mm -hmm. Snatch the jaw. We're never mad about that. The jaw is one place that I will just draw it on directly because that's like so easy um, to just... Pew, pew, like I'll follow your entire jaw. If creams freak you out though, I will say like you literally cannot mess these up. They're so easy to blend. You can always add more, make them more pigmented, but they're so pigmented and so easy to blend with just one swipe. If you are scared of creams, you feel like they're drying or whatever, usually this is like extremely hydrating and kind of foolproof to be honest. I feel like I know a lot of people message me who are makeup artists that love them and then people who didn't even wear makeup at all and and they really like them. But they're also great on um, bare skin too. Yeah. Like no foundation. They just glide. More. <laughs> on the other side. We're going to try and work that out. I don't know which side I like more though, so. Oh. It's a little hard because with the lighting, it like lights up one side yeah. of your face and not the other. Sorry. Okay, we'll figure that out. Oh yeah, no nose contour. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's key. Have fun. No nose contour. <laughs> no nose contour. Oh no. You don't contour yours at all. Mm -hmm. 
I do just like bronzer on the sides. I'll contour if I'm like doing full, like going out, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I blend it into nothing because it never really ends up looking like anything. But the thought was there. I tried. I tried. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Okay, so I may come back to bronzer and adjust, and now I'm just going in with another brush. So I'm doing the same thing, just getting it on the top and then dabbing off the excess. That way, like, these can kind of be as, um, like, you can build them up. So you can start really small and then go all out if you want to do, like, a bunch of blush, or you can just have it be really, really subtle. And they, they don't take off beautiful. what's underneath them, which is amazing. They just kind of like build and you can build throughout the day and it still works really well. So say you put on like the amount that you like during the day and then you can go ahead and in the afternoon or at night, like go right on top of your makeup and add more and it always like works. It doesn't take off whatever's underneath. Kind of just going a little hot. Your blush is what I always like really really love and your makeup So I'm curious to see if you have to do something different for my face or if you still like the high placement mm. I feel like high placement is just fun But I always do like high and then Excess goes like there. Oh, and then but I have like hollows so you can see I have a here hollows very well. here. Like, I have pretty big hollows so like in the camera it kind of you can see like where the hollow is Mine is the same um, exact thing. Yeah, so I try to go above that. To blend it better? To blend it. Or to make it like pop out. Yeah. I wonder if we put the statistic like highlighter under that right here. Because I always do it here. But I wonder if we put it under the under eye. Like that, if it would um, like pop it forward. I'm going to try that. I just always add a little blush and then once I have like a little like barely anything kind of like how you do on your eyelids with concealer yeah like once you have like nothing then you just carry that over to give you that a really sun-kissed look yeah or like naturally sun-kissed I should say okay and then now I'm going to set her under eyes but I'm going to like re blend just to make sure there's no creases before I set what is there. Let me do this way too. I'm excited to see at the end. I'm trying to like feel what you're doing, but face still so obviously I can't see see. I'm gonna go in with this. I'm gonna use mine. Yours has seen better days. Yeah, she's I mean mine. <laughs> why why did they send us? <laughs> <laughs> the, same. the same <laughs> but her is like so it's because rough. my beauty blender is always so damp that it gets wet oh. the pot makes the powder get wet and then it like messes it up okay look at that you like this instead of a beauty blender i like the new i like the hourglass concealer brush it's not new but it's new yeah, to me it it's so me. good it's like a little precise one you should try yeah this was my first hourglass like brush Purchase. They're really good. I'm just doing like the smile lines in T zone. I don't like know it. how that side looks because I just can't tell, but. Ooh, like it's <laughs> You look tan. That's how I like We're to like look. staring in the camera. How do we look? <laughs> I like to look tan. That's the goal. Okay. Also, so, you're just making it match my body, and my body is tan, and yeah. my face was like very light. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, turn towards the more straight on. Now I'm just gonna go back over and blend out, and then take a damp beauty blender to sculpt out this side. I was saying earlier, I feel like my blonde comb foundation. I like for long wearing because it doesn't come off. I feel like I love the Giorgio Armani one. Um, it is like one of my favorites. But right here, my dibs and my concealer. Perfect. Bomb 24 hours later. It looks great. Here, it looks great like setup. I put nothing on. Like it's just gone. Weird. Zero coverage, nothing. 
I don't My hardest part is like that. my T-zone. I feel like I just put a little too much product there. And as I've gotten older, I need to like just do less, a little bit less. Or oh, we're gonna see how it looks, because I feel like you definitely do less than I do. Or you do it in like different increments. I'm like, fuck it, let's go. And you're like, tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit. So I wonder if it nets out to the same amount or if it's it less. It might, it might. Cool. We'll see. I always put it there on her. She's a little like way tanner than me. So we're gonna have to. That's good. I'm, like, um. Brush it away. I, this is like such a sign of trust and respect for me. <laughs> Letting someone do my makeup, I'm like, this is. Which is cool. Crazy considering I've never done somebody else's makeup. So like first time. How did we wind up here? <laughs> Don't quite understand. So I'm going to go in on her eyes and I'm gonna be doing something that I actually did for her Galentine's party on myself and I learned it from the pink eye that she did um on Instagram. Yeah. So blush blush on the eyes it really like warms everything up really nice yeah so right. i'm using this shade flirty and girly shade three divs shade or uh, the unknown shade unknown. that we can't share yet unknown shade <laughs> unknown shade it might be out by the time this goes away mm -hmm. so i'm just like going straight in with my trusty dusty sonia sonia kashuk number 109 trusty, trusty. I've had this since college. She's having a good time. She's still looking great. So I'm gonna turn this way towards me. And then I'm going to apply the status stick in High Road Highlight just above this. And that will be the like cream base that I'm using on her eyes. And then I will go over it with a powder to um, like lock it all in because I think your eyes are uh, supposedly like pretty oily. oily I think. Yeah, they like generate. I think eyes yeah. do generate more. So this is High Road Highlight. Is that your number one favorite? Yeah. Sounds I like good like gold on my body, but on my face, I like High Road. I, I'm not trying to neutralize as much red on my face, even though I do have rosacea, but my goal is never to really neutralize that um, because it's just, it's there, it is what it is. Um, but on my arms, I have KP, so they're very pink and like those little bumps. Same. So I like to neutralize those. I feel like I didn't well. have those and then I got them in college and they've, like I've had them ever since. Have you been doing that lotion that we got for it and do you like it? That one does work, yeah. Really? Yeah, I do, like I can't use it when I'm having eczema flare-ups because it does have like a lactic acid in it. Mm. And that can bother me, but when I'm totally good, it's fine. Okay, so that is High Road Highlight and the <clears throat> new duo shade on the eye. Oh. And then now I'm going to go with another blush um, powder. And we're just going to go over that and set it. I'm excited to see if you fill my brows in or if you just brush them. I've never You're gonna see that, that big of brows in my life. <laughs> that's so what, I don't know. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sure she did. <laughs> yeah. But um, this one is a that's little great. calic, you'll see. No matter what I do, it always wants to go boop. I liked this look on the eyes because I felt like it really brought out my brown eyes. The honey. Like, yeah. It made my eyes look very hazel. And my eyes only really look hazel in the bright light, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, that's nice. You can definitely use makeup to bring out those different tones, just like outfits. Okay, look up. <laughs> I'm having fun time. Just don't know what I'm doing. That's not true, yeah, you do. You're doing great, sweetie. You got this. Okay. Yeah, I like how that looked away turn this way. It's a good color, huh? Mm-hmm. We're using this like powder 
bronze powder. It's actually kind of a highlight, but I like to use it in, on my eyes or as like a topper <clears throat> over my bronzer. Okay, so we're going to okay. set everything. Close your eyes and I'm just gonna spray you up. Okay, sorry. Having a little bit of a, a spritzer mishap. <sighs> so yeah, I just sprayed it with that and then now I am You're going in, in and pressing in that spray. Oh, that looks really bomb. So we're having- That looks spray. really good. The eyes look so good too. It I looks know. great. I learned it from you tutorial. <laughs> So it looks awesome. We're applying some techniques the face that I learned looks from great. Courtney. We're, um, dang, that looks really good. I feel like I just don't, like, know as well how to, like, do, like, the coverage, maybe. I'm, like, not super great at coverage. It's kind of the point. We're doing a lighter per your Yeah. This style. is my, like, my light, but I'm wearing. Glam, a little For bit. me, glam. this is yeah. more, like, glam, but, like. It's, it's glam because you do all the steps, mm -hmm. but it's light because I feel like you blend it very, very, very well to where it's like the coverage is really natural on the products, you know? Yeah. What was the result of the brows of the product? Did you do a lot? Or was it different without it being microbladed? You really didn't have any in it, but I, it's just like a habit. Yeah. <laughs> I just like started doing it. I always use a Q-tip and I wipe everything off. I think it is my microbladed. That um, makes sense. Because it does. It's like a little tattoo basically, right? So it would and be like if you go on top of it. And I thought that my girl stopped doing like microblading, so I kind of gave up on them and I was like, oh man, I'm never going to get them done again. And then realized her account got hacked. She and still she had to make it? a new one. You and so her? I just, yeah, I randomly found her and I was like, what? Nice. Are you going to so, go back? Maybe for a touch up, yeah. They look perfect right now, but I know they don't last forever. Yeah, and I want to like have it done before it fades because that was one of the biggest like confident boosting things I've ever done was getting really? my eyebrows make microbladed because I have a scar on this side so I don't have like a brow for this half and brows really <clears throat> shape your face so I felt like totally. this just like this side just fell off and it was like one of my biggest insecurities. It's also nice to have them. Um when you don't have makeup and stuff too. Because yeah. obviously you can like fill it in, but to have them just when you wake up is probably nice. Yeah. And then I'm going in with Got To Be Gel. Definitely Ooh, check sizes when you order. Because this I, thought, mine. I thought I was getting that and I opened this up and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have this for the rest of my life. Oh, so, wait, the joke. So. I need to get these little spoolies though, because I use- you have, With my eyebrows, you really gotta like get in there. Because they're thick. They're moving with me though. They're being very nice. They're pretty cooperative except the little calic. I like that. It's like going. But I don't get like scratched. Like you've got to go in because it's, they're, you got to wade through the brush, you know? Yeah. Yeah, my left hand just can't function anymore. Pumping them up. You have like volume, like layers in there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Only need it like one layer down. <laughs> that one. Oh. I think that looks good though. If I do say so myself. I want to get a little clip for this. You good? I think so. I like the brows. How do you look? Audrey's doing my makeup. We're filming it for you guys. Okay. Close your eyes again. I set my face like a hundred times. In between? Yeah. Do you like it just locks, locks it in or? I feel like when you use powders, it, it like lets them soak into your skin. Yeah, it makes it like one with the skin. Yeah. For sure. I've been doing that too between steps and then like when you're done done just lock it off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now my skin. <laughs> no primer? Having a good time now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you made me laugh. I'm really nervous. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay, look towards me. Just like that. Just do it just like that. This will be like a win if I don't get this everywhere. You think I like it? You think? I do. What's this thing? Oh, comb? Oh, this is if your lashes get clumpy. It's like a little comb through? It's a little comb. Um, I was really crazy in high school and I would use the mechanical pencils. My mom uses <laughs> a needle. And I would just like stick it. I use a, um, a safety pin too. Liz does. She used to always say that to me. She was like, if you pick up all the things from my makeup routine, don't do this. And she yeah. like takes this little tiny needle and do does it. Do not recommend. Do not do this. Okay, look towards me. Yay. Okay, I want to add the 1.5 blush um turn totally towards me is this the fluffier brush mm -hmm. you can i can literally feel it i use the fluffier brush for my blush for both times or just this top off um both times not on you though on you i used yours and then now i'm going in so that's the thing about dibs is like i literally have already set her face and i'm going right on top of all that again and it doesn't matter. It's like. Yeah, you can keep layering it on. Yeah. And it also adds that like life to your face. It almost has a glow because mm -hmm. there's no like highlight on top. And yet like you go like this and you can just see this like sheen on the skin that is literally just from the blush and bronzer. Okay. What are we going to do for lip? We are going to go with just a, a gloss. No, oh, no liner. liner. I mean, oh I Lord. A tiny bit, but not really. Oh Lord. Give me like a little that finish on the cupids though. Okay. I can deal with no eyeliner and barely any mascara, but I don't think I can ditch the lip liner. Okay, it's going towards me. And we're gonna, it's gonna be very ugly there. Right perfume. You smell good. It's the Chanel Mademoiselle and Flower Blend. Both? Mm -hmm. Both. Well, because I saw a TikTok last night about the Baccarat or whatever. Probably because we were talking about it yesterday. That's I just creepy. got it. Um, and we talked about Flower Bomb because I just got the new one, remember? Yeah. Your TikTok listened. It's a whole other topic for a whole other day. Continues to scroll TikTok. Yeah. Um, and it said that if you have that, that perfume is actually designed to be layered. Which one? The Baccarat. Oh, it is? Yeah. Which should I layer like it with? Anything. It says that it has a certain like um, fragrance chemical in it or something that is designed to layer. We should play and it today. And it adds like a brown sugar like Ooh. depth. And then you can layer it with fruity. You can layer it with... Like, really I don't want to layer it with that. What's the Delilah? The pink one that I got? The box? The one The new mm -hmm. one? Mm-mm, I'll show you. Wait, will you rub your lips together? I'm just gonna do this under your lip. I feel like you're gonna... <laughs> what? Your lips, they're like, uh, light. Light. Here, I'll add a little more. <laughs> I'll add a tiny bit more underneath. Okay, do you want to look I in look. the mirror yeah. for the thing? You can't really see in there. I, feel like. I really like the lips. Lips look really natural, but like in a good way because it still, it still is there. I like the eyes and the face looks bomb. Your eyes look very honey. Yeah, the blush tones. Mm -hmm. This looks really natural and it's not like emphasizing my pores or texture here, I feel like, don't you think? Yeah. Which was the mission. I think you crushed it and I really like the brows. What do you think? You like it? Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> it looks really good. <laughs> Success. You can, I feel like you can exhale now. You're like, I'm so excited. Okay. That's I the finished look, guys. Natural. We I did love it. it. I love it. We did it. It's kind of like a girly, but clean girl aesthetic. Yeah. What do you think? I love it. I'm really excited. It looks really pretty. That was fun. I feel like it's youthful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Love fam. <laughs> oh my god, yay.